Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 955 Chapter Nobility Harish Chandra was the king of Ayodhya. He followed a principle of not uttering lie in any kind of situation and he ruled the country very well. He also donated liberally to those who needed assistance. Knowing this, Sage Vishwamitra conspired in many ways to make Harish Chandra to utter a lie. One day he went to the palace of Harish Chandra and requested certain items for conducting yagna. When Harish Chandra readily offered to give him, Sage Vishwamitra refused to accept the items, saying that he would come and receive as and when he needed. After this incident, the sage made several attempts to make Harish Chandra speak lie. Finally, he grabbed the country from his fold, made him empty-handed and got him out of the country to forest along with his family. When Harish Chandra was about to leave for forest with empty-handed, Sage Vishwamitra ordered him to move out of the country after giving him the items needed for the conduct of Yagna. As Harish Chandra was left with nothing, he told the sage that he could send someone with him to Kasi town and on reaching the town, he would hand over those items to the person deputed. So the sage sent Sukran to accompany Harish Chandra. Harish Chandra suffered untold sufferings while he was traveling. He sold his wife and son to a Brahmin and asked him to give the items sought by Sukran. Due to affection with his wife and son, Harish Chandra got fainted and when he became conscious, Sukran was found standing. Harish Chandra inquired Sukran whether he received the items needed by the same. Sukran told him that he had received the items for the sage and he did not get his kuli for those days spent with him. Hearing this, Harish Chandra, even at the time, did not refuse to the request. He made himself slave to the contractor, Veerabhagu, manning the graveyard, received the money and handed over it to Sukran, a person Hailing from an ancient traditional family will not hesitate to be generous despite their poverty. Our Saint Tamil poet Thiruvalluvar explains about this in Thirukkural as follows. Varanguvadul veerindha kannum palangudi pandal thalipiridal indru Ayurasai Varanguvadul veerindha kannum பலங்குடி பண்பில் தலை பிரிதல் என்று richness and poverty is disaster being generous even during poverty is beauty thank you very much indeed nandri vanakkam